Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and today we're at chapter 23, verse 46. And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Now that might seem like a kind of a small slice, and that's our only slice for today, but think about that a little bit. So Jesus cries out. As we've been going through morning by morning, we've seen these different events as he's there on hanging on the cross for these hours. And in a voice loud enough for everybody present to hear, he prays to his father. Because when he addresses a request to his father, that's, that's a prayer. Father, Father, into your hands I commit my pneuma, my spirit, my breath. Now, a lot of people have this idea that this was Jesus maybe, you know, giving his spirit, his immortal spirit, kind of a way to the Father and telling him to come and take. But remember, uh, and when this isn't the place to unload it com really completely, but uh, man is does not have a soul or a spirit. Man is a soul. If we study out all the things the scriptures tell us, uh, Genesis 2, 7, take the breath of life from God and the dust of the ground from earth, you put them together, man becomes a living soul. Ecclesiastes 12, 7, how do you disassemble a soul? Well, the same thing. You take apart the breath and you take apart the material component and then you have uh, dis disassembled the person. When a person dies, that's what happens. Jesus just says, Father, I'm, I'm sending your breath back to you because uh, the breath of life is how Genesis 2, 7, that's how God gave life to Adam. And so we all have the breath of life as a gift from God. When we die, that breath goes back to God who gave it. And so Jesus now came to live as a man. He lived without sinning ever, and he trusted everything to the Father. And now he's he's says, I'm done, and he dies right there, and his breath, he breathes his last, he goes, breath goes back to the Father. So this is the death of Jesus on the cross, the sacrifice the Father made of his Son for us, for our sins, and what we have here all the way to the end, just all the way to the end, is the purest, fullest trust that Jesus has for his Father and you and I want to have that kind of trust also in God. Trust all the way to the end. Trust to be faithful to him no matter what comes upon us, no matter what the culture throws at us, no matter what testing or temptations come to us. May our own hearts be clearly affixed to, to, to the cross, clearly affixed to Jesus. We, that's what we would want from our Lord. Saying, Dear Father in heaven, we've just read the text today in the Gospel of Luke all these hundreds of videos coming up to this very moment. This is the moment when Jesus gives his life for me. And so for each listener, Lord, thank you for the gift of life through Jesus. Please help us to have a sense of the magnitude of what's going on here. Help us to be, our hearts to be fully turned toward thee. And so now, Lord, this is what we're praying for. This is what we're asking for. We thank you humbly for your gift. Don't know what we could say or do, Lord, but thank you. And now just help our hearts to be totally turned to you. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the desire of our hearts, isn't it? To be fully, absolutely, unequivocally turned to Jesus. And if we allow him to, he will do that in our hearts. God bless you today.